What's up everyone? This is Tanaka from Zen Hair and Makeup. Today I'm going to show you how to do a gorgeous and high updo with kimono style for the coming of age ceremony as well as the graduation. Here's how the hairstyle looks. As you can see, it's quite a fancy style with lots of volume in the back. This time I'm going to use bobby pins instead of elastic bands to create the shape. Um, because of that, it might seem a little difficult but it is a style that allows you to make fine adjustments at the base. Feel free to pause and rewind when you need to. Now let's do it. First, we're gonna take a look from the side. Start with the part that you wanna show a bit taller and curl the hair with one heated curler. Then, we're gonna take a triangular base from the parting behind the roller towards the nape of the neck. Then, at the bottom of the triangle, divide the hair diagonally into left and right. Then, we're going to divide each part into three sections. First, make a diagonal line from the front of the roller to the back of the ear. This is going to be your first section. For the second and third, divide the remaining hair into two equal parts. And now we're going to do the same on the other side. From the front of the roller, we're going to make a diagonal line toward the back of the ear. And split the back section into two equal parts. We'll be working with each section to complete the look. And now we're okay to remove the curler. We're going to create a back comb on the top. We're doing this to give it a soft and fluffy texture up on top. I don't want to separate hair bundles too finely. Instead, I'm going to push it back without separating the bundle. Back combing firmly toward the roots, then bring it to the back of the head. Remove the clip from the bottom of the first triangle, hold them together and tie them with a hairband. But before tying them together, make sure you smooth out the top. Then, just on the surface up top, we're going to add some more texture. Pinch the hair just above the back comb. While pinching, use a comb to separate the strands from the base. Lift your fingers upward. Then slowly release your fingers from the lifted position. The strand gives you height and depth this way. From here, you can use some hairspray to keep the hair in place. This makes it easier to create the texture we want. While you're doing this, if there's too much teased hair on the surface, it'll be difficult to create the soft texture, so let's be careful. Now, for the back and opposite sides, we're just going to repeat this whole process. Once you've finished with that, you can take the hair bundle you just tied and curl it with a curling iron from the middle. Twist and keep it in place with bobby pins. Once you have it all twisted up, pull out a little portion just like this and continue on to the next step. As you continue pulling hair from the twist, you'll come to a point where you want to use a bobby pin to fix it all in place. Spray the area where the pin is inserted and continue this process until you reach the final height you want. This right here is going to be the center part of the base. We'll be doing the same with the rest of the hair on the other side. Curl the remaining bundles in the same way and hold them up towards the center. After curling this side section, divide it into two. Twist this up into a simple rope braid and then we'll use bobby pins to hold it up just like the last time. Now gently pull on the strands again to create more volume.
Once you have it pinned in place, you'll want to re-straighten it with a comb. If you like the length and position, you can just leave it as is. If you want to make the hair a little shorter, or place it up a little higher, you can start twisting here again to achieve the desired height or length. Once you've finished twisting and pinning, you're going to pull out some more strands to give it that soft texture again. Now let's start working on the next bundle, curling from the middle. When putting the new hair bundle together at the base, move them upwards to avoid crushing the ends of the hair. We're going to be using them to add more volume later on. Continue to work the front left hair bundle in the same way. Once you get here, it'll look better if you curl from the root rather than the middle. Here we're going to use the hairline as a guide. Part the hair parallel to the hairline. Divide into two bundles and then make a rope braid. While braiding, add some more texture to the base. Pull some strands out like we did before to create the texture. Try to make it match the base as much as possible. Once in place, use some hairspray to emphasize the strands you just pulled out and fix them in place. We can move on to the next step after that. Now just repeat with the three sections on the opposite side. When twisting the hair here like this, be careful not to twist too tightly, so that the braid isn't too tight. The overall look of this style should be soft and loose. It'll look beautiful if the braid isn't too tight. On this side you'll notice there are more bangs available, so we're going to separate the hair into upper and lower sections, roughly above the temple, and curl each one. Here we're going to repeat what we did on the other side and part the hair into two bundles parallel to the hairline, and bring it to the back with a rope braid. At this point, if the bangs are too short, you can secure it with a bobby pin behind the ear. This way, even if they are a little short, you'll be able to keep the structure. Once you've finished and the bangs look like they do here, Let's match the texture of the surface area with the overall texture we've created so far. Like I'm doing here, with your thumb and pointer finger, cut through this clumped section to create a soft texture and spray it to fix the bundles. This will make it easier to match the overall texture. Now, with the herons that have gathered at the back, we're going to finish it up by back combing. As you can see, some parts might not be curly enough by the roots, 
So make sure to curl them before you do anything. Once curled, you can start the back comb. Using a comb, firmly back comb toward the roots. With the curls you just pushed back, you can create whatever shape you want by moving it from the roots. This is what it should look like with the back comb added. Once you've finished with that, move the upper part of the hair upwards so we can add movement to the bottom section. When the lower part is finished, gradually move upward to work on the upper part. When gathering the hair like this, rather than splitting the hair into bundles, separate and spread each bundle out. This will help you finish with that gentle and gorgeous look. Once you've come to this point, take the hair tips of each bundle and use a bobby pin to pinch them together. Then insert the pin into the base so that the curls don't lose their shape. Once you've finished pinning each end like this, check to see if there are any fine strands spilling out. If there are, spray them to keep them in place. Now, review your work and make any final adjustments. Once you've finished, this is what the style should look like. Lastly, this is great for a coming of age ceremony or even a graduation. So here between the scattered and tie part, feel free to add a flower or hair decoration. I think it'll fit the situation very nicely. So what did you think? The style uses a lot of bobby pins, so it might seem fairly difficult. But if you stay calm and place each pin carefully, you can easily make fine adjustments whenever you need to. I'm confident you'll be able to achieve the look you're trying for, and that you give this method a try. I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about the pink spray that I use, both in class and in these videos. I've included a link at the top of the screen that'll take you right to their website. If you're interested, you can check it out from there. That's all for now. This is Tanaka from Zen Hair and Makeup. See you in the next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe.